Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are prepping and organizing for back to school time. If you are new here, I am Frankie. I am a stay at home mom of three and I am currently homeschooling my oldest daughter. This will be our second year homeschooling but we only did homeschool for half a year last year so this is my first full year homeschooling. So I am trying to jump into the school year prepared and organized which is what I am gonna be trying to do with you guys today organizing our homeschool cabinet and this is also going to be a little bit of a school haul i'm going to just show you guys as we go along some things that i picked up for this school year to help me have the most successful and easy going school year um this year so just some back to school supplies that i'm going to share with you guys today as well as we organize my new homeschool cabinet before we get started please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below for more mom and lifestyle type videos as well as homeschool videos as the year progresses before we get started, I also want to show you guys the cabinet that we're going to be organizing today. I did order this off of Amazon. It was actually pretty cheap and it is a nice size, bigger than I was expecting it to be. So this is going to be our homeschool cabinet this year. It's got two shelves which are pretty big. I mean, these containers right here that I picked up yesterday that we're going to be organizing with are huge and they fit right in there and I have room for plenty of our homeschool stuff. I will link the cabinet itself down below and give you guys a little bit of a better overview of it as we go along but it is so pretty. It's right into our homeschool space perfectly and is going to just make organizing so much easier this year. So let me just give you an overview of our homeschool space and what we are working with today. So obviously our homeschool cabinet in this corner I do have an art cart which I'm not sure how I'm gonna organize yet. And I also have these drawers over here that I'm gonna keep extra paper in and things that I don't necessarily want the kids to get a hold of with this cabinet. And then over here I have this entire container of stuff <laughs> that I have to organize that I picked up yesterday, as well as all of this stuff on the floor here. So our curriculum, which I'm going to unbox with you guys. I think our best case scenario is starting right here <laughs> because I'm going to put our curriculum books here and I know what I am doing with this area and then we'll go from there. I did order these clear bin containers in a set of three on Amazon. Everything that I share today will be linked, everything that I can possibly link. I have an entire Amazon storefront dedicated to all of my Amazon homeschool things so I will have that linked as well as individual links in the description in case I share anything that you guys are like specifically interested in. A very exciting part of homeschool is unboxing the curriculum and I have not unboxed the curriculum yet. I have opened the box and like looked at things, but I haven't like really dived into it. So let's dive into it together and put everything where they belong. So we went with the master books curriculum. Um, we went with the first grade set. So everything came together and I didn't have to individually pick out each book. So here's her language arts book, her science book. They gave some extra books that are going to go along with some lessons. So these are just um, regular like reading books that I think we're going to read throughout the year with her reading lesson. And I believe this is another um, just reading book. Her math book, I'm excited for this one. I heard the um, master books math curriculum is really good. Phonics. And last but not least, this is her social studies curriculum. And that is all of what comes in her curriculum that we ordered. As you guys know, last year we didn't have a curriculum to follow since we kind of just jumped into it. And I was doing all of my own lesson planning, but I think it's going to be really nice to have somewhat of a guide this year to do on top of things that I want to do during our homeschool year, but I'm really excited to get like diving into that. I do have an extra tray here that I'm actually going to put her morning menu in. If you guys followed along last year, you know I love the morning menu thing and this year I created my own guys and I am selling them so I will give you guys a little sneak peek of it they are already launched on my Etsy and I will have this linked at the top of my description they are a digital file that you can print out on your own so I have two designs this is the Suns design this is the one that Sophia chose this year and then I also have the garden design which I wish she would have chose that one because I love that one so much but I designed them all from scratch all by myself, I started with a blank canvas and went from there. It's got our cover page, it has who this morning menu belongs to, it has our calendar, the day of the week, the month, time of day, the weather chart, temperature and season practice, name, address, phone number practice, and then a really big thing that I wanted to include in our morning menu this year was positive vibes and positivity. So I included some of my own little designs. Again, I will have my morning menus linked at the top of my description for you guys to purchase yourself. Again, you'll get a digital download link and you can print them off yourself. I'm really proud of these two little products that I 
created on my own and I'm excited to incorporate it into our own homeschool routine this year. So that is going to be the next thing that goes in our organizer here because this is something that we use every single day so she can come in here and grab it right out of the cabinet herself. If you guys have any other questions about my morning menus, questions on how to purchase it, how to download it, and all of the above, please ask me in the comments or send me a direct message on Instagram and I will get back to you right away. I really hope you guys enjoy them if you do purchase them. I am, again, so proud of them. I created them on my own and they are for not only everyone else to use, but for my personal use. So thank you guys if you do purchase. Um, thank you in advance. Getting into the good stuff here. I've got a huge bin here of things that I need to unpackage and I'm gonna give you guys a mini haul as I go along of everything that I picked up yesterday to make our homeschool year successful, I guess. A few other things I picked up that I really wanted to show were these learning resources items. Um, you can get these at Target, actually, I think on Amazon as well. I went with the clock money and of course the Lincoln cubes because these are so great to have. I got them at Target in the school section um, and we are going to unbox and organize those. Some extra folders, 50 cents each. I got a straight paper cutter because I always needed this last year for our art projects. It was only $7. I got it at Ollie's. Dry erase markers are a must. I also found this in the Target dollar spot. It's a flashcard organizer. thought this was good to hold them in so that they're not everywhere. I also got these glues. I've never seen these before. I don't know if I'm just new, but they dry clear. They're um, glue pens. So I thought those were cool. got some regular Elmer's glue, but I got the purple one. Some paint. Post-it organizers. I thought these would be really good for um, her curriculum. Depending on where we left off, I could just like tab it instead of having to turn to whatever page. And just a bunch of random stuff that I will go through and unbox and organize as we go. So all of my bins were from Ollie's, or at least most of them. This one with the lid. Um, these are definitely fridge organizers, but they work. This large one, um, Ollie's. This one that's a little shaped different, but again, huge. Not sure how I'm going to use that one. Um, Ollie's. This caddy from the Dollar Tree. Again, these were from Amazon. And then I have a couple of these from Target. This little one was also Ollie's. I think I'm gonna move on to my little caddy. Got a pack of sharpen pencils. A couple of glue sticks. I have three of these little cups, so I'm gonna add those in there. As well as one of the glue pens, and then whatever I don't put in this cabinet, I'm gonna put in extra storage drawers, but I don't think it's necessary to put everything out at once. I'll put one of these glues in this section. I'm just gonna put those in there as well. And this is subject to change. As I go along, I will see what I think needs to go where. And then I'm gonna add my dry erase markers in there. Paint. Paint brushes. I have some extra of our older paint brushes as well. Okay, we switched it up a little bit. I added this container up here, added my glues, my paints, my paint brushes, my dry erase markers, and dry erase er. I added this container back here, and I think I'm gonna put my, hmm, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna put my binder clips, paper clips, and little post-its in here, actually. Okay, I think this top section is looking good. Um, we'll probably go back to it and rearrange as we go, but I've got a pretty good setup here. So we're going to move on to the bottom. In this big container here, I think I'm going to add some of those books that were a part of her curriculum, just to keep them in one place. And then I also have some of my own books that I picked up from Ollie's. Ollie's is such a good place to go for affordable books. I mean, these were $3 and $4, which I mean, for hardback, hardcover books, these are such good prices, like unbeatable. So um, those are two books that I want to read with her this year. And then I'm also going to add a little sketchbook that I also picked up just for some, um, you know, a practice sheet, doodle work, whatever I need. Um, she has her own little sketchbook, so. Also into that same bin, I'm gonna add these, I don't know what to call these, um, like paper folder type things. So you can write on them, put like worksheets and stuff, and that way you can make them reusable. I shared these last year, but I'll link them below again. Those are gonna go in that same bin. I'm gonna add our extra folders to her morning menu section, just because there's a little bit more room there. 
I almost forgot I had this huge thing of colored pencils. We use colored pencils so often, so I'm gonna add that into our caddy as well. I'm trying to decide where to go with our tape dispenser. I wanted a tape dispenser this year instead of just buying tape constantly. And then I did buy some refillable rolls, so. I do have this little container here that I'm gonna put that in, I think. I'm also trying to figure out where to put the paper cutter and the hole punch. I think we might have to just set those right up there. Got my kids' scissors, those are gonna go up here. I actually made a quick switch <laughs> from this caddy to this caddy and the pencil or the paper um, holder fits in there perfectly. So same exact thing, um, I just switched it. It fits in there better and I just like that one better. So this one is just going in the art cart. And there we have it. I think that looks so much better. So organized, looks good. Let me know what you think, if anything should be changed. And a quick rough overview of the entire cabinet. I think it turned out so good, guys. For here we've got our curriculum, of course, our morning menu, some extra folders, and then we've got our caddy that I just switched out with the same stuff. Um, colored pencils, crayons, I added one Sharpie pencils. On the other side we have our electric pencil sharpener and some scissors and then I've got my hole punch. I used my hole punch a lot last year but I don't know if I'll need it as much this year since we have a curriculum. And then over here I did put our ruler. We've got our glue, paint, paint brushes. In the back I added some post-it notes but um, binder clips, paper clips, and the post-it tabs. And then of course our dry erase markers which are so important. And then on our bottom row we've got all of our learning resources, kit type things. In here we've got our tape, some extra flashcards that I found. This was some extra learning resource stuff that I'm not sure if I'm gonna need so I didn't take them out yet. And then over here we have extra books um, that go along with the curriculum, books that I wanna go through this year, construction paper, our clear folders um, or dry erase folders, and then a doodle pad, and then of course my little paper cutter. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I think the homeschool area is giving. The last thing I'm gonna do actually is hang up this magnetic canvas that I got from Target yesterday. To hang like art projects and stuff on instead of hanging them in the kitchen, we can hang them right in our homeschool room. So that's gonna go there. And I think the pattern on it is so cute. <laughs> so let's hang that up and then we're gonna close out this video. I think it looks really good and I love how it like kind of flows with my homeschool setup over here and I'm gonna love to utilize it uh, for all of our art projects and things that we do during the homeschool year but yeah thank you guys for watching today's video and organizing with me I'm really glad we got that done together because it needed to get done and the homeschool year is approaching very quickly. If you guys are homeschooling this year as well, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you are a seasoned homeschool parent, how long you've been doing it, or if this is maybe your first year. I'm excited to jump into our second year homeschooling this year, and I think it's gonna be really fun. I've got a lot planned for us. I'm excited to use our curriculum. I'm excited to dive into this whole homeschool cabinet now that I have an organized space for all of our stuff, because last year was kind of hectic with the little amount of space and stuff that I had just to jump into the year but we did it we got through it and i'm excited to start a new year and just continue to grow and get better in our homeschool journey but thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you guys aren't already and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye everyone